morning everybody uh, I've been trying to make this a short video today uh, I want to tell you all everything I want to do um, but if I tell you everything I want to do and I don't get it all accomplished it's kind of like uh, bad publicity I guess but I want to first thing this morning check to make sure see how the new queen is doing see if she's been released yet and I want to harvest some of that honey and the honeycomb from that beehive from yesterday. Uh, looks like they're very active this morning already. Hopefully I don't upset them. But they are very active this morning. Lots of bees. All right, we'll be back. Okay, got the smoker going. We're gonna go check uh, check on our queen bee. The aroma of honey around here is, oh, y'all done fell, didn't y'all? Sorry about that, guys. But the aroma of honey around here is just crazy. Smoke will help calm them down. But I'm not getting attacked. Now I'm going to check on the queen bee. Bring y'all over there with me. And the queen is still in her box. And this is the honey I want to harvest today. Or try to. And get some of that wax all right guys we'll be right back looks like maggots in this okay now we have another problem uh, the cone that we put in there for them to use 
from last Sunday has small hive beetles. So I got it all out. They look like little maggots, but they're small hive beetles. And I am going to um, get rid of this cone and put some uh, diatomaceous earth uh, around and underneath it. And hopefully we can get rid of them. But uh, I'd like to thank uh, my dad, Mike Thompson, for helping me through this. And uh, hopefully we can solve this problem. I still have a lot of bees. I have a lot of bees on that wad of uh, cone right there. So I kind of left it by the hive here. I moved the rest of it down the fence line down there. And I re I took those frames out and I put new frames in and hopefully that got rid of most of them. My swarm trap over here, yesterday I put a uh, small piece of honeycomb up on top, but they are still on the swarm trap. I'm not quite sure if there's a queen in there or not but they are also inside the swarm trap. The life of a beekeeper, especially getting started guys. If y'all are just getting started, it is something else to get established. Hive, now, like I said before, if none of this works out, uh, come spring, I will go buy a nook of bees that are not wild, uh, raised, farm raised, and I will start over again. But anyway, I'm not opening that box up right there because I just put those in yesterday. I really didn't want to open this box up, but I had to reposition the queen and uh, take those. I'm glad I did to get these um, small hive beetles out, larva, and uh, I can see them on the ground underneath. So I will today, as quickly as possible, get that diatomaceous earth and uh, put on it and uh, try to kill those and get rid of them. All right, guys. Hope you like this video. Uh, I will do another one. I got a friend coming over, and we are going to try to separate this wax from this honey. And uh, see if we can't bottle some of it up. This tote was cleaned and washed, so, and I'm also gonna filter out the honey. So, hopefully we will uh, see how that goes. Anyway, God bless y'all, tell you love ones you love them, because you never know what tomorrow brings. Stay tuned for the next episode of Bees.